everyone, we want to talk about Guanxing, which you may feel confused in doing business in China. So, what Guanxing means? Guanxing is a social relationship or connection between people. It is a network of mutually beneficial relationships for personal and business purpose. It is not the key alone can enable your business to succeed in China, but it is impossible to be successful without it. So, how to build Guanxi? There have、uh, three ways to build up your wonderful Guanxi. First, it's called Shou Ren. He's the person you're familiar with. You know each other since you were young. You may go for a business trip or holiday and have a chance to know a new person that is worth to you to build up Guanxi. Finally, exchange your contact. Second, to know someone by existing friends. Make an indirect connection become a direct connection, so you have another new Guanxi. Third, you go to a business event or a party with business purpose. You also can build new Guanxi, which will benefit your future career. Well, to build Guanxi in China, what you could consider? You can give a dinner party to people that you want to meet and keep Guanxi. This is called qing ke. However, you may separate the bill of the meal, but it is not good to do like that. You could pay for the whole meal, and if the person wants to keep this guanxi, he or she will think about to treat you another meal in return. So it's a circulatory. Another consideration could be EMBA course in China. This kind of course is different from traditional course. People who can attend this course or have more than eight years work experience. The position could be CEO or senior managers in different fields, such as banking, real estate, commercial, and financial investment. Through EMBA course, enriching your knowledge is not the only objective. But most importantly, to expand your Guanxi net, you can make a link from different fields, exchange business cards, and lay foundation to build Guanxi with intended people. In addition, Guanxi exists steps which can be understood as competitiveness. It can be divided into three tiers: families and those you regarded as your families. Next is your good friends. The burden of your Guanxi is those you are not very familiar with. However, you should know that everyone in Chinese business is not isolated. They might have their own networks, even covering yours. Sometimes the success of your business depends on how the closer your Guanxi is. In this case, it's a kind of competition to see whose relationship is closer. The closer your relationship is, the easier for you to succeed. Well, hope you learn something about Guanxi and make Guanxi your strong competitive in China. Thanks for your time. Created using Powtoon.